Have you ever experienced this empty feeling after running a race you have trained for a long time? You come home from your race and should be fulfilled and happy, but you feel kind of depressed. This has happened to me in the past, but it's not that common these days as I am prepared for the moves that can hit me. And I now have the tools I need to diminish the down feelings that may come. If you saw my last video, you know that I ran London Marathon last weekend. But right now I'm just enjoying the fact that a long period of fixed session and high volume training is finally over, for a while at least. And of course also taking care of my hamstring who got a solid hit in the race. In this video I will give you my tips on how you can reframe your thoughts to move forward to new goals and get some new energy and inspiration. And first of all it's not that unusual to suffer from post-marathon blues but it's more common amongst recreational runners than the elite. It has some to do with the fact that the elite runners have rough training plans that extend years ahead and the rest of us usually don't. But to feel a little depressed after a race is not surprisingly at all. To run a marathon or a half marathon can be a real drain by itself, both mentally and physically. And something you have prepared for a long time is all of a sudden over in just a few hours. What I do before I even run my marathon is that I often have another race booked just three to six weeks after my A race. But this race shouldn't be of any major importance and shouldn't need as much preparation as a marathon. The race I signed up for need to be different from the one I have run. If I have run a marathon for example, I might register for a local 10k race or just a shorter trail race. And if you have a park run where you live, that might just be enough for you to find some new focus. For me it's important that the race don't matter that much in terms of results, but I often do get good results anyway from all the training I've done leading up to my marathon. And another advantage of this is also that if my A race didn't go as planned, I have a new race to put my focus on and can leave the negative thoughts from my marathon behind me. And the same can be if my marathon had gone beyond my expectations, that I feel in such a good shape and want to get test my potential in another type of a race. But although I might have signed up for another race, it doesn't mean that I will continue with my running sessions directly after my marathon. Not at all. Usually I decide before running my marathon that I will have a number of rest days after the race when I don't run at all. And this is to reset both my body and my mind. In the past I was more like thinking that I will know after the race how I feel and then take a decision on how many days I need to rest. But that just gave me bad conscience since I felt bad about not running at all as it has become a part of my everyday life. If I have decided beforehand I found peace in not running. And this I know from experience from other runners that have a coach. That if the coach have told them to take a couple of days off from running they can enjoy that. But if it would have been up to them it would have been harder to feel relaxed and at ease. And although I rest from running, I just don't lie in the sofa with the remote control and watching telly. The days or even weeks after my marathon can be when I try other things that I didn't have time for when I trained for my race. Maybe I didn't have time for yoga, although I know it's good for me. And maybe I just miss going out for a walk with a good friend. Now is the time to do things that you didn't prioritize the weeks before your race. You might want to get stronger but haven't dared to put in too much strength training at the end of your training block. Because you've been afraid that it will affect your running sessions too much. And this is also the time to analyze your race. Take time to write down what felt good and what felt bad. What good things can you take with you to your next race and training block? And what are your weaknesses that you need to work on? Maybe you will realize that you need to work on your mental strength or maybe you ran the first part of the race way too fast and will learn from that. How was energy intake? Did it go well? If it did, just copy paste for the next race. And if you watch this video, you will know even more about what to do and not to do when it's race week. You don't always have to change and make things better, but if you have trouble making training inspiring again, it's good to find details to work on. And analyzing a performance will help you to know what to replicate and what not to replicate again in the future. 
And I believe the most important thing after a race is to allow yourself to feel a bit sad and to be tired, both physically and mentally without feeling bad about it. It's unlikely a clinical depression. The post-race blues will pass within a week or two. And have you yourself experienced the feeling of emptiness after an important race? What did you do to feel better or did you just let it be because you knew it would pass? Please like and comment. And have a nice run and I see you soon. Bye!